Yeah, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. uh, shall I call you my friends? Uh, my dear friends, uh, that is, if the ladies will allow me to take so great a liberty. Oh, that Mr. Pickwick, I could just kiss him. Uh, well, couldn't it be done by a deputy? <laughs> and kiss me instead. Oh, oh go away. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to propose uh, our toast to the health of the bride and bridegroom. Oh, <coughs> God bless you. God bless you. Now, my young friend Trundle over here, I uh, <coughs> believe to be a very um, excellent and manly fellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and his bride, Isabel, I know to be a very amiable and lovely girl. Oh, she's uh, beautiful. Yeah. Well qualified to transfer to another sphere of action the happiness which for 20 years she has diffused in her father's house. Oh. Now I know that for my own I wish, <coughs> I wish that I were young enough to be her sister Emily's husband. It's quite all right. I, 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 Enough to be her father. Now, for so for being thus, I shall not be suspect. Uh, shall not suspect of any latent desire when I say that I admire, respect, uh, and uh, and uh, love both the girls. Both girls. Oh. <laughs> now. Now, the bride's father. Our good friend here is, uh, is, a, is a kind, fine-hearted, excellent, very, very noble, Generous. Hospitable. Hospitable man. And we would wish for his daughter everything that he could possibly have wished for her, which is, I am persuaded to say, <coughs> our united wish. Yes. And so, let us all drink their healths and wish them a prolonged life. And every blessing. It was not long before the festive party was adjourned. At Mr. Wardle's recommendation, a brisk five and twenty mile walk was undertaken by the gentlemen in order to counteract the effects of wine at breakfast. At dinner, they all met again. Another hearty affair. After which, 
the wedding cake was cut and passed through the ring. And the young ladies all saved pieces to put under their pillows so they might dream of their future husbands. Then there were more toasts, then tea and coffee, and at last, the wedding ball! <laughs> Mr. Pickwick, sir. <laughs> Not bad yourself, Sam Weller. Not bad yourself. <laughs> ah, Mr. Pickwick, you mean to dance? I do. Don't you see that I am dressed for the purpose? Yes, but you in the silk stockings. Why not, sir? And why not, well, I, I suppose I, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't wear them. I imagine not, sir. I imagine not. After all, they are a, a very pretty pattern, aren't they, Snodgrass? Oh, yes, uh, quite comely. Uh, no, uh, exquisite. No, I haven't. Picturesque. Picturesque. <laughs> I hope so. But I take it that you'll see nothing extraordinary about the stockings. As stockings, that is. Sir, I'm afraid. Certainly not. Ah, big way. You're looking splendid, old chap. Uh, splendid. Thank you. I believe that my brother has been waiting for you. Ah. Mr. Pickwick, I was so hoping you'd dance the first dance with ah. me. How did Partners, I... ladies and gentlemen, you ready? Take your partners for the next dance and let it begin now. An extraordinary thing it is, Winkle, that you could not have taken your place in the dance before. Yes, well, it was not extraordinary at all. It was perfectly natural. natural. What? Natural? Yes, natural? What? what? Oh, I see. <laughs> well, well. I 
don't know that it was extraordinary either. After all. Well, are we going to dance or are we going to stand about all yes, night? Yes, but I'm hot. Places, everyone. Places. Let us begin a new now. Oh, oh. 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 